Hi everyone, Gina Aliotti here in the kitchen, going to share some simple ways to use Devotion Flex flavors, and then also just a really simple recipe sharing how we make our Devotion donuts, but I'm actually going to make them like a bagel style. So this is going to be a really fun live today. Um, I'm going to wait for some people to join, and we're going to get started. So I hope everyone's having a great Tuesday. Um, I just filled up my my devotion shaker with water. Um, did you guys know that this makes like the best way to measure your water? I try to get five of these a day. So just another great way to use your shaker. All right. So today we're going to get going and we're going to make um, some devotion. You can make them donuts, but I'm actually going to do like a bagel twist today. So we're going to turn our donut into a bagel. Um, and then two simple ways to use Devotion Flex Flavor. So first things first is I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 degrees. So I'm going to preheat the oven to 350. So while that preheats, we can get to, visit, to, get to work on a couple of fun things. All right, so while that's preheating, I want to make two simple, one of them is a snack, one of them is just kind of like a topping idea. But these are just really, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, why didn't I think about that, right? Um, but I'm going to share with you. A great way to use flex flavors is to add it to cottage cheese. So cottage cheese is a healthy snack. It's actually a great time release protein, so it's good to have right before bedtime. Um, but you know, cottage cheese can kind of be bland and boring. So one thing that you can do is add a flex flavor to cottage cheese, and it's going to make it have so much more flavor than just regular cottage cheese. So all I did was I took about a half a cup of cottage cheese, and any flex flavor really is fantastic in cottage cheese, but the gummy fish, when you want like that little bit of that candy flavor is excellent. Um, my kids love this one also. So I'll take the gummy fish and add it right into cottage cheese. So the beautiful thing with the flex flavors is it just kind of depends on what you're craving and what you're in the mood for. Uh, oh gosh, yum, smells just like Swedish candy. All right, so this is just a really simple snack. Again, great for anybody, kids, adults. So put it in there and then uh, pop the lid on it and you can have it right away or put it in the refrigerator for later for just a yummy snack. So great way to use flex flavors is in cottage cheese. So give that a try. Another really simple way to use flex flavors is in cream cheese. So you know cream cheese, we have, there's so many different types of cream cheeses out there that are flavored. They have a flavoring to them. Strawberry cream cheese right now you're seeing a little bit more of like pumpkin cream cheese and they all sound really good but when you add the flavor to a normal cream cheese you're getting all the sugar. So a great way to add the flavor and again you have 15 different ways to flavor your cream cheese is to add a flex flavor. So I've been doing this lately and adding it onto my kids bagels and they love it. So I thought this is a great little idea to share with you. So I've been doing um, pumpkin pie since I've been all about the pumpkin pie lately. A little bit of cream cheese with a flex flavor to change the flavor of the cream cheese and then we're gonna add it onto our bagel today. So I've got my cream cheese, usually it's about what, two tablespoons or three tablespoons is a serving. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And then you take any flex flavor that you want and add that in to the cream cheese. And you know, you can do as much or as little as you want. It depends on how much flavor you want. So typically, maybe start with a half a packet, move it around since you're only doing a couple tablespoons, and then see how that tastes. And then you can always add the rest of the packet. I like to add the full packet, and I just mix that around making flavored cream cheese. How simple is that? So instead of getting the cream cheeses that have all the sugar with the added flavor, you just add a flex flavor and now we have pumpkin cream cheese. Yum, okay. So I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna use this later after we make our bagels um, or donuts. But the reason why um, I'm making them, you'll see why they're gonna turn into a bagel. So we, you can do our recipe so many different ways. You can turn them into more of a donut. You can make a bagel. Um, there's just so many ways to make the same uh, recipe and just kind of tweak it based on using angel food cake or brownie batter or what flavor you use. So today we're gonna turn it into a bagel. All right, so I've got my cream cheese ready and we're gonna revisit that here in a little bit. Now I'm gonna make our bagels. And 
These are so easy, you guys, and I'm gonna share with you guys a tip on how to make it even easier so that you can just quickly grab your batter, your mix, and put it all together and put these in the oven and they're ready to go. So we have um, a, our donut recipe. We have tons of recipes on our website. If you haven't checked those out, make sure you visit our, our recipes. Uh, we've got tons of ideas in there, and they're just to kind of get the wheels turning because you can turn all these recipes into you know different recipes. If we have one that we share with creme brulee, you can always throw fruity hoops in there. You can always change up the base recipe with the flavors, and that's the beautiful thing with flex flavors. So we're gonna do um, our recipe here for our, we're gonna call them bagels, because that's what I'm making today. I'm making a healthy bagel, a devotion bagel. So what you're gonna do is one scoop of either angel food cake or brownie batter. So it just depends on what you're in the mood for. And I'm gonna do um, angel food cake today. All right, so we've got the angel food cake, and then you're gonna do one scoop of angel food cake, two tablespoons of coconut flour, two tablespoons of almond meal, and I'll put this recipe down below so you guys don't have to write it down. Um, and the reason why I'm not doing this as I'm talking is I'll tell you why in a second. So two tablespoons coconut flour, two tablespoons of almond meal, and a teaspoon of baking powder, and then the flex flavor of your choice. Now you're gonna put all of the dry ingredients into a bowl. And the reason I wasn't doing it as I was talking is because I've already pre-made these mixes. And this is a great way to just pre-make these mixes and have them in the, the pantry, just have them in a, a drawer ready to go when you're ready to make your bagels or your donuts. It just kind of makes things a lot easier. So what you can do is you can pre-make your mixes. So this is a brownie batter one. This is an angel food cake. Same ingredients that I just mentioned, just the scoop plus your two tablespoons of coconut flour, two tablespoons of almond meal, um, your baking powder, and then you can even add the flex flavor to your mix if you want and label it so you can have your pumpkin pie or you can all the different flavors, you know, so you have these ready to go. It makes life really easy and then all you have to do is add the liquids. So I've already pre-made this. So here's all the ingredients in here. The only thing missing is a flex flavor because I wasn't sure what I was gonna be in the mood for. But now that we're talking about pumpkin, I'm gonna go for pumpkin. So I put all the dry ingredients into the bowl, and I'm going to do pumpkin, and I'm going for it. I'm doing the double pumpkin, the double pump. So if you want to do a double, you want to really pump that pumpkin flavor, go ahead and put in two, one to two sticks, and I'm going to go ahead and do two. So two sticks of our pumpkin pie. I don't know, when I bake, I tend to use two just to get a little bit more flavor because baking can kind of bring the flavor down a little bit. All right, there we go. So everything's in the bowl, ready to go. Now I'm gonna add the liquid ingredients. So for the liquid ingredients, I have, I'm gonna do one egg, one whole egg, including the yolk, and one egg white. So I have one whole egg, one egg white, going right into that mix. So you see how easy this is when you already pre-make your batter. All you have to do is add the dry ingredients right in there. And now I'm gonna add our liquid, which is gonna be almond milk. So unsweetened almond milk, a quarter of a cup. All right, there we go. Simple as that. And I'm going to mix it all up. It really is this simple. Mix it all up. And you're gonna wanna either grab a donut silicone pan if you have one, or a regular pan. You can turn these into muffins, but we're making bagels, so I like to have the hole in the center. So I have one of these, I use it all the time. It's a silicone donut pan. I love these because you don't have to spray. You just simply put everything in there and they pop right out when they're cooked. So definitely if you don't have one of these, the silicone trays are always really nice. And then I put it on a hard surface, just like that. All right, so you see how easy this was. I mixed it all together. It's got like a dough consistency. Okay, now this is gonna make three donuts or three bagels. So I'm just gonna put these all in. This is gonna make three, but I'm gonna tell you the serving size is gonna be one. And you're gonna be impressed by the macros of one bagel versus a regular bagel, and I'll get to that just in a second. All right. 
All right, you can totally smell all the yummy pumpkin flavor. Okay, here we go. So put those all in there. And then when my oven is ready and all warmed up, then I'll go ahead and pop these in there. But I'm actually going to make another batch before I put these in the oven. And I'm gonna do a batch of the brownie batter. So I want I never wanna just leave it like that. I wanna have all of them in there. Because if, if I'm gonna have the oven on, I wanna do more. And then you can always use these later. So if I have six here, that's six bagels, that's six lunches, that's perfect. So I'll do the others after um, in a bit because I already have them made. So I can show you what these look like once they're done. So once they're done, they come out just like this. You guys are beautiful little bagels. I did the angel food cake. I also did the brownie batter. And with the brownie batter, I added monster cookies. So they, these are delicious. Smell really good. So you get three bagels for this recipe. And um, like I said, I did two servings. So I said, did some angel food cake and then I did some brownie batter. And as you're seeing, you're like, why are they cut in half? So I actually cut these in half, so I halved them. So these are the perfect bagels, delicious just as is. Or if you wanna elevate your bagel game, you wanna pop them in a toaster and create a bagel with cream cheese. So now I've got my toaster here and I'm gonna do my angel food cake bagels and I'm gonna place those in the toaster. And while that's toasting, I just want to share with you guys the difference between the devotion bagel that I just made and then your typical bagel that you may get at Trader Joe's or wherever you get a bagel. So this bagel here, one bagel is about 120 calories, five grams of fat, 4.5 carbs, only two net carbs, 2.5 fiber, zero sugar, and 11.5 grams of protein. And to share with you guys the difference here, 210 calories in your regular average bagel, 120 in the devotion. One gram of fat in your average bagel, five in the devotion, but it's coming from good fat. You've got the almond meal, the coconut flour, and that then that little bit of fat from the whole egg, but it's good, good fat. Um, there's lots of good fats in the whole egg, if you guys didn't know that. Don't be tricked that the whole eggs are bad. Um, okay, and then carbohydrates, check this out. 45 grams of carbs in one bagel, and ours has 4.5, and only two when you subtract the fiber, so only two net carbs versus the 45, and nine grams of protein, and ours has 11.5. So we have a little bit more protein, but we trimmed off the calories, and we trimmed off a ton of carbs. So this is a low-carb bagel. Okay, so there's such a difference there. It's all about making these simple swaps to really make those lifestyle changes and to create, you know, just to, to eat a little bit healthier and um, to make this a fun and yummy lifestyle. All right, so here we go. So now our bagel is toasted, perfect timing, so good. I don't know if you guys have ever thought about this idea of like taking your bagels or the donuts that you've made, maybe, or maybe you haven't, and slicing them in half and toasting them. It makes such a difference. And then you can put on there whatever you want. Today we're going to do the cream cheese that I made at the beginning of this live. So now I'm going to take our cream cheese that I use the pumpkin pie to flavor, and I'm going to put this right on our little bagel. Perfect. And of course, what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. And I have the perfect amount of cream cheese. And I'm going for it today. I did all pumpkin, tis the season. So I've got the pumpkin bagel with the pumpkin cream cheese. But as I said, keep in mind the beautiful thing with devotion is you can always change up depending on what you're in the mood for. All right, so there we go. So here is our healthy bagel. Now, of course, those macros that I just shared with you are only for the bagel, so they're not adding the little bit of extra fat with the cream cheese. Um, so those are just for the bagel, but very delicious little bagel here. My kids love these, and it's just a healthy way to still have your, your bagels that we all love. All right? So give this a try, and um, let me know what you guys think. I think you guys are going to be really impressed that the Devotion Bagel definitely has so much more flavor than a regular bagel, but yet you're still getting that yummy bagel that you always want and crave. All right? So I hope that you guys enjoy this. Give this a try, and um, I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Have an amazing day, everyone, and cheers to bagels. Have a great day.